Hi, we are here to demonstrate some newer building blocks of SRV6 technology. We will focus on flexible algorithm, but we are going to describe layer 3 VPN functionality and also performance monitoring. So firstly, let's define what is a flexible algorithm. It is a simple extension of IGP protocol, which allows the creation of virtual topologies with different attributes inside a single IGP protocol. Each algorithm is defined by including or excluding individual routers, including or excluding individual links, and selecting specific metric. Obviously, metric can be default IGP metric or traffic engineering metric or even delay metric. This is our physical topology. It consists of different models of Cisco routers from NCS 540 through NCS 5500 to ASR 9K. Routing protocol used is ISIS and we use here multiple levels of ISIS. The backbone is level two and two aggregation or access domains are level one. One of the greatest benefits of SRV6 is possibility of summarization, which can be performed among different levels or potentially by a distribution between different protocols. For SRV6, we need to assign specific locator to each router. This locator is then advertised through the network and every router in the network has reachability to all locators. Here we show locators for algorithm zero. This is default algorithm, which always uses all routers, all links, and IGP metric. Also, for this demonstration, it would be sufficient to advertise locators from ingress and ingress PE routers only. But we will advertise it from all routers to be able to perform TILFA or traffic engineering later. Now, let's take a look at the service. In our case, it will be layer 3 VPN with IPv4. But same way, it can be IPv6 overlay or even eVPN. Obviously, for these services, we need PGP protocol between PE routers. Even in this demonstration, it is going actually through the route reflector, but for simplicity, <coughs> we are showing direct IPGP session. We already said each PE needs locator to create any service. Here is a locator of egress PE, and this slash 64 network is reachable throughout the whole network. Each router calculates the shortest path to the egress PE locator using the IGP metric. Obviously, we have eBGP sessions towards CE routers. And once BGP session is established, PE router needs to allocate function from default locator. Here we allocate end dx4 function because we are dealing with IPv4 prefixes. Then once the prefix is received from CE, PE assign that function to the prefix as additional TLV and advertises it towards the ingress PE. Ingress PE creates FIP entry and sends IPv4 prefix towards ingress CE. When ingress PE receives the packet from CE to the specific destination, it will encapsulate the packet into the IPv6, where destination IPv6 address is SRV6 function assigned by the ingress PE. Then the packet is forwarded through the network using shortest pass using IGP metric. Packet will obviously reach egress PE, and egress PE knows based on a function what to do with packet. It will decapsulate it and sends it towards CE router. That was for default algorithm. But here we want to show a flexible algorithm. So let's define algorithm 128. We will use all the routers, and each router participating in that flexible algorithm must have new locator belonging to that algorithm. The shortest path towards such locator is then calculated using rules defined by specific algorithm, which are, in our case, excluding all links with the affinity blue and using delay metric. Delay metric can be statically defined, but the static definition has many drawbacks. Mainly, it cannot reflect dynamic changes of the underlying infrastructure. So the best way is to let routers to measure latency in a real time. To achieve that, we use performance measurement on every single link in the network.
Each and every router measures latency on all interfaces in IGP, and that latency is advertised into the IGP itself as a latency metric. Obviously, when latency changes, performance measurement will detect such change, and IGP will update latency metric throughout the topology. We still have the same network, but the new VRF is supposed to be part of the flexible algorithm 128. That algorithm doesn't use IGP metric, but delay metric. BGP session is still the same, but locator used for algorithm 128 must be different. No change of EGP sessions, but now we assign different function to the prefix, which is received from the egress CE. This function is allocated from a locator assigned to algorithm 128. Here, we are doing it per VRF, but this can be done per individual prefix as well. Everything else is done exactly the same way as before. Even in data plane, everything stays the same. Ingress P receives the packet, encapsulates it in destination address, being SRV6 function allocated on Ingress PE, but now it sends it along the shortest path using reduced topology and different metric. Here is a full view of both paths and both encapsulations. Yellow one uses default algorithm with IGP metric at the red one uses reduced topology and latency metric. So let's take a look at the demonstration itself. Here we have a demonstration environment and this is simple NSO frontend doing all the changes and showing what is happening. You can see the topology and we can show the IGP metric and path which follows algorithm zero between PE routers. We can also show latency metric as measured in the network. Latency metric here is in milliseconds, and we can easily calculate what is overall latency of this path, which gives us roughly 37 milliseconds. This is output of traffic generator, which measures latency for both streams. Yellow one is following IGP metric, and here we can see its latency is really 37 milliseconds. Red one follows latency metric and it shows latency about 22 milliseconds. Here we can display path which uses latency metric as well and it is really approximately 22 milliseconds. What we can do here from this portal, we can change real physical latency on one of the links. So we can increase latency on the link between routers 2 and 4 from 5 to 30 milliseconds. And we see that the traffic for flexible algorithm 128 was rerouted accordingly towards the new shortest path using latency metric and new latency is about 26 milliseconds. And we can verify that using a traffic generator. Here you can see an increase of latency on both streams. Then performance monitoring measured change latency on a specific link and IGP flooded that information into the whole domain. Obviously, once metric is changed, routers will recalculate their routing tables and divert traffic to the new shortest path. This is obviously not the case of the yellow stream as it follows still IGP metric, which is static. We can return latency on the link between routers 2 and 4 back to 5 milliseconds. And it has an immediate effect on both streams. So we demonstrated SRV6 flexible algorithm functionality, which is a form of traffic engineering embedded into an IGP protocol. We also demonstrated performance measurement and propagation of delay metric into the IGP domain. If you need, more information on segment routing, best source is always segmentrouting.net page or follow us on social media. Thank you very much for your time watching this video and feel free to comment it or ask any questions below. Bye.